Well, this is one of the new things I'm trying. I'm learning to do video. So last time I did a quick demo on printmaking on a gel plate. This time I'm going to do a sketchbook tour. This is my most recent sketchbook, almost finished, not quite, and I'm going to run through it and show you the wide variety of things included in my sketchbook. The theme of my last newsletter was bricolage, which is a French term for a whole conglomeration, a wide variety of things, and that's what you're going to see in here. That's sort of the state of my work at the moment. So this sketchbook is the first time I've tried painting the cover. Um, this is acrylic paint, collage, um, metallic paper, uh, Posca pens, all kinds of um, material and medium. And I got this idea from gaynorpaddle.art. She has a really great YouTube channel. I'll link that um, below so you can take a look at that. But here's some of the work that's in this particular sketchbook. And I have paper clipped the things together that I don't particularly want to show. After Queen Elizabeth died, I started looking at some of her uh, symbols and items that she had. There's the Cullen and Diamond, uh, all kinds of things. This is sort of an idea for a future project, and that's just fine liner, some sketching. I belong to a drawing group, and we were doing some anatomy, learning anatomy, so this is one uh, sketch of the bones of the hands. And I actually have a problem on my own left hand. I'm left-handed, and on my own left hand, I have a problem with this joint right here, which is my metacarpal phalangeal joint. So I highlighted that. This is more from the Queen's funeral. I was drawing while I was watching it on TV. Here's the military carrying her casket. Uh, this, I think, is the top of a light pole, um, a wrought, something wrought iron, uh, one of the guards, a couple of hats, the screen, the TV screen, the image changed too quickly. I couldn't get much on those hats. One of the priests, her crown. This was the beginning of a shot at Westminster Abbey with the people down here. Again, didn't stay on the screen long enough to draw it. There's the new king, former Prince Charles, an assortment of people at her funeral. And then I like to watch Meet the Press on Sunday mornings. And often I will sketch while I'm watching that. So here is Jamie Raskin, Jake Sullivan, a German chancellor who I don't know who that is, but I drew him at the time. Uh, Nancy Mace. I can't remember where she, what state she's from, but she was a guest. This is a kind of bad attempt at getting Jen Saki. That wasn't very successful. I don't know who those people are. Uh, one day coming home in the car, I stopped in the park and did a quick sketch. I usually have a little bag of assorted drawing utensils and little travel paints, and this is um, pen, ink, and some watercolor. A quick sketch of a, I don't know what those are. They look like a sycamore, a, one of those sycamore balls with uh, points, kind of pointy stuff sticking out. I can't remember what they are. This, I'm still doing some client work. This was a sketch for an invitation that, a printed invitation that I needed to design. So that was some thumbnails, getting ideas for that. 
I have an artichoke lamp from Ikea in my living room. So there is that. This is an episode of Who's Talking with Chris Wallace. And he was interviewing Mark Cuban that night. Uh, that is a lamp that is behind my couch. I have a little drawing station behind my couch, and that's the lamp with drawing tools in it. This is my couch. Uh, I'm very interested in um, the podcast, um, gosh, what I think it was called Serial. Anyway, it was about Adnan Syed, and... Uh, that was a really interesting podcast. And just recently in October of 2022, he was found guilty, but the charges were dropped against him. And um, I'm not so sure about his innocence, but charges were dropped. It was an interesting case. Uh, again, probably meet the press. This says, independent running for Utah Senate, Evan McMullen. I don't know who that is. And then I was looking at something with Picasso and the Chocadero Museum. And here, I must have looked up the Chocadero Museum and found an African mask that was there because I think that that's where that came from. And that's watercolor and um, fine liner. And on my series of mono prints that I'm working on, they're abstract landscapes. So I've been experimenting with just trying out some different color schemes, really rough colored pencil, just putting together some scribbles to see what I think about various colors. Uh, those are notes from something not too interesting. My, the island stools that I have in my kitchen. This is a woman that I follow on YouTube. Her name is Louise Stiegel. She also has a Substack um, email newsletter. She's, she's an interesting character. She's all about sort of slowing down and um, not being under so much pressure. And her, uh, her, symbol for herself is a crow and so I ended up adding that at some point. I'll link her below too. You might find her interesting. More notes. Um, I've put colored ink in my Pentel brush pens. I uh, got this idea from Austin Cleon and so they used to all be black but now they have color. So I'm just experimenting with those to see how those might work. Um, working, I'm doing a project that includes um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and did that sketch sort of as a preliminary thing. The lamp on my drawing table. Various um, sketches, thumbnails, trying some different things. This is a no-tan Japanese drawing that just reduces scenes down to black and white to sort of focus on composition. And so that is a preliminary sketch for a composition. Working on some simple people to include in urban sketches. Uh, there is another hand from the drawing group that I mentioned earlier. I I can't even explain what that is. It's um, trying out pens, color, scribbling, etc. This is a study of a conch shell that I have with collage paper in the background. This uh, was a drawing of a seed pod that I sort of expanded on. Somebody said to me it was a little bit suggestive, which I did not see, but now I do, That now that they mentioned it. Uh, a Some thumbnail sketches for a poster for a client, poster design. More thumbnail sketches for that poster, trying a horizontal orientation as opposed to a vertical one. This is a little sketch of me that I ended up animating um, 
producing digitally and animating for a newsletter um, a couple of months ago. A steel brush pen that I have, another one of those, whatever those sycamore type things are. This was a blind contour drawing of my mug, my coffee mug. I just put the pen down, started drawing, did not look at the paper. And then when I was finished drawing, I put some watercolor in it. I did look at the paper while I was watercoloring. Okay, more scribble portraits, not from Meet the Press, not from Chris Wallace, but from Dateline. So this is an episode of Dateline. There's Keith Morrison, um, some of the suspects and various characters throughout that episode. Uh, notes from a client meeting. This is a preliminary sketch for a project I'm working on, a set of cards, uh, a car cards and a book that will be about Marcus Aurelius. And this is um, an image of his mother, Dormitia. waiting for a meeting at a coffee shop and I just drew the um, the surroundings. There's the ice, ice water dispenser and some notes in the background. This is a, some scribbling done on a Zoom meeting. So here's the guy that was talking. This was one of the guys that was asking a question. I say here, he was very handsome. His name was Robin Love, very handsome. I didn't quite capture him, but it was a quick scribble portrait. Danny Gregory, love him. He has all kinds of uh, creative ideas and projects online. And so he says via a YouTube video, your new job is being creative 24 seven. My can of diet squirt, some philodendron leaves. Here is a, I can't remember what I was doing there, but I was trying out all of my various pins with weights and um, colors. So there's that. Uh, an empty page on another sketchbook and my Sharpie pen. And here's a wild thing. Again, this is sort of inspired by Gaynor Paddle, but boy, she has such a nice touch. This is very dark and heavy, but I just kept adding. That's what she does. She just keeps adding till she likes what it looks like. And I'm learning a lot from her. This is part of my lamp that has little collection bins around the side. That's a piece of styrofoam that has a syringe that I fill these pens with and my X-Acto knife. This is a crazy plastic clown head that was lying around and I put it on top of a jar of water and drew and painted that. And um, some little seed pod um, things. I'm not sure what those are, but, uh, I like this pencil drawing. I love that. I love graphite. And, um, this was just sort of a spontaneous drawing and I think it's very nice. And there's my last page, another collage that I did, um, for, um, working on a project that I ended up going a different way on, but I just cut that out and stuck it in my in my sketchbook. So I still have a couple of pages left to go, but that's the state of the sketchbook for now. And that's the sketchbook tour of bricolage. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.